What's up guys, it's Static, and okay, my mic is muted, <laughs> and I'm back with some more DayZ, um, so, do I have a story for you guys? Um, I was, I had a few watched my, uh, DayZ Luckiest Guy Ever video, uh, there's a guy, and anyway, so I found the M24 and all that stuff, so I was up in the Northwest Airfield, was waiting for something to happen, and, uh, yeah, so I set my M24 out, just, you know, hanging out. And then all of a sudden, uh, Glitch spawned in, like, this white open field. And I'm like, oh, what the heck? So I'm like, oh, I was glitching. So I just, uh, hit abort, and then I was on that one menu. And then, uh, everything just, like, crashed, kind of. Like, I went to the menu, and all of a sudden, everybody on the server, there's, like, 15 people on the server, everyone died. And I was like... It's a good thing I disconnected. So I went to another server, joined in. I was in the debug forest, and I was like, oh, crap. So I opened my map. I'm like, okay, I'm here. I'll head up here. And then I close my map, and all of a sudden, pass out, and I die. Wonderful. So I restart over. I'm in Cherno. I'm leaving Cherno. Oh, I see. I'm, like, pretty much right there. I was at the, uh... Oh, that's a marks on the map. I don't know what's going on. I was at the uh, hospital here, and there's some tents. Uh, sticking out of the hospital window. Someone broke the hospital windows, and I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I'll go check those out, you know. Open the first one, there was, like, two Mockrov mags and, like, 45 ACP. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Just left it. I think I actually might take the 45 ACP, I'm not sure. And then I, uh, oh, I had a ghillie suit, too. I found that before. And then I go into the next tent. DMR L85 grab what I can so I ended up getting this uh, L85 here if uh, with thermal so it's got thermal and night vision um, and I also happen to get AS50 TWS so I got antibiotics too just in case I don't have heat packs do I no dang it AS50 TWS now this here is a gun and a half. Nice thermal scope on it. It's awesome. And some of you might be like, oh, hey, it's a hacked in gun. Yes, the AS50 is not hacked in. AS50 TWS, which is basically AS50 the thermal scope, is a hacked in gun. But I looked all around. I really wanted to make sure um, I cannot receive a global ban for picking this gun up. If I hacked it in, Yes, I could receive a global ban from BattleEye, but I did not hack in this gun. I found it in a tent. I cannot hack. I cannot do anything besides play games. So, yeah, I can theoretically, if an admin sees me, I can get banned from this server, but there's plenty of Daisy servers. So I'm not really worried about that. I don't really plan on having a face-to-face -face confrontation with my sniper out with an admin. Because if I did, that would really suck. So this episode, I don't know if it's going to be that interesting. I just kind of wanted to update you guys on what's going on. I am heading up to the Northwest Airfield. As you can see, I'm about seven clicks out. I don't have a compass, I just have a map. Um, after I got out of this, I was not going to go and sit out. What's that? Off the cow. Oh. I was not about to go and uh, look around Cherno even more with all this crap. Waiting to find uh, a compass. So I just throw down a waypoint. Off I go. The only downside I can really think about with either of these guns, well, I don't can't really think of one with the AS50. It's pretty godly, but uh, the L85 here. The only downside I can really think of is zeroing. Zeroing is a pain in the butt. You always have to, you know, make sure you know how far they are and what's going on. So that, that's the only downside I can think of this gun. And possibly thermal and night vision. It'd be nice if I could have like the option to turn them both off and just have a regular scope. Um, that would be nice. But 
this is an amazing gun for medium range and then AS50 for long. I could probably do this in close, but I never really plan on getting in close confrontations with players. So, I didn't really record any of me with my M24. Nothing really happened. Um, I was actually right as the glitch happened. I was first I was out there and uh, we got some fresh cherries coming back and uh, from a vacation. So, I was like, hmm some cherries. I'm having a bowl of cherries. Go AFK, come back. Oh, there's zombies spawned. So I'm just eating my cherries and looking around and all of a sudden I see these zombies running across the field. I'm like, yep, there's somebody here. So I, uh, zero my scope, see the guy. I'm getting ready. I'm trying to, like, get ahead of him to zero in because he's running it, like, diagonally across the, uh, airstrip. Probably towards the barracks. So I'm like, okay, okay. And then that's when the glitch happened and I was literally reaching for the fraps button. <sighs> Anyways, <clears> oh, <throat> gunk in my throat. So, I didn't get any footage of that, but basically, I'm gonna be editing and doing stuff like that. But once I get to the Northwest Airfields, I will be being abandoned, okay? I will be sniping, I will be PKing, player killing, whatever you want to call it. I'm not gonna be looting, because I don't really need loot, and I don't really think it's worth it to be. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's worth it to be looting the Northwest Airfield with an L-85 and, uh, AS-50 to look for heat packs, food, uh, I actually need a hatchet, but stuff like that. I don't really need to be looting for that kind of stuff, so I'm gonna be, yes, player killing. People hate that. People say it's lame. I really don't care. I enjoy it. It adds realism to the game. Play it safe. I will... I thought those were players all in the hill. I will be looting the bodies. I am not one of those players who kills for fun. Um, I will be looting the bodies. Oh, God. I hope nobody's down there. Zombie up there. So... Yeah, I'll be doing all that, so no need to worry about me just shooting for the hell of it. That'll probably be the episode, you know, me taking out somebody, moving in, looting them, getting back, that kind of thing. If you want me to do anything specific, please tell me. Um, for the meantime, I am going to be operating... Oh god, that rabbit scared me. I'm going to be operating during the day. Uh, the only reason is, like, I have a thermal scope on this and night vision. Oh, it's a river, a pond, or something. I have thermal and night vision on this, but I also have thermal on my sniper. So I'm I'm set up for night when it comes to that, but I don't have night vision goggles. I I don't. So it's gonna be really tricky to navigate to the bodies that I shoot of the players without aggroing zombies or giving on my position to other players so for the meantime I'll be operating during the day until I can get uh, a sniper or sorry well what am I thinking until I can get uh, NVGs and stuff like that um, I'm pretty set for food so yeah I think I'll be out for a while the only thing I just can't get mad when I die okay I have two or one of the rarest guns in the game, the rarest sniper in the game, which I wouldn't really count it as being super rare because it this one was hacked in. Um, but whatever, I I'll I'll have to deal with it. Um, I can't get all upset of getting killed because when I think about it, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm killing players, so. Um, I do have a tent, now that I think about it. See, I have some food there. I have a couple cans of beans. That's it. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I'm going to need to find a hatchet then. Um, what was I looking for? Tent. No, I think I dropped the tent right to make room for my uh, AS-50. Because I only have an Alice pack. I, I don't know how to find, like, a freaking... Uh, what's it called? 
Uh, Coyote Pack. I've been playing. I, I, I I've been, bleh, I'm getting my merch bottles. I've been playing Daisy for actually not that long, or I mean, recording for not that long. I've been playing for quite a while, but I have never found a Coyote backpack. I, I, the biggest I found is Alice. I have no idea why. It's it's really kind of annoying. So Coyote pack would be nice, but I'm also not gonna loot to find a backpack and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight to my, uh, sniper hill, and, uh, oop, and, um, I'm gonna get right into it. I did have a heat pack, but I also dropped that. I can't remember why. Yeah, I think I wasn't expecting to find, like, an AS-50 in, uh, Cherno. So I was like, oh, well, I'll probably, like, find, like, a sniper if I do find one up in the Northwest Airfield. So I'll drop my heat pack, carry other things. And then, they're quite common, so on my way up there, I'll find one and take a couple. And then I found my S50, and oh, so I don't really have heat packs, so I can't really... It's, it's gonna be tricky, um, without shivering and stuff. Also, being on the forums, I'll just surf in the suggestion things on the iPad. Um, it'd be cool if they did have, um... If you could get heated up by campfires, or if they had other ways for you to get your core temperature up. Um, yeah, I, <clears throat> I was also, like, the forums, I don't know, they're, they're helpful, you can get a lot of help, but that suggestions tab, it's just, oh, it's brutal. I was surfing through them, and, oh, road, um, loads of the suggestions were, oh, if, Bandits are killing players. If they kill enough players, they should go insane and shoot themselves. Like it's like an animation, and then you're dead. And I'm like, this is like it's all people care about is people getting sniped by bandits. So that might get me some hate, but really, I don't care, guys. Come on, it's it's a game. In real life, people would be doing what I'm doing. And this is a role-playing game. I, it, it doesn't affect who you actually are. It's just merely showing what you want to do. So, it, it's role-playing. Like, come on. Um. Yeah, the people do this for fun. It, it's. It, uh, I don't know. There's so much controversy. I thought I heard a fly. So much controversy between players and bandits and survivors and just debating because oh bandits shouldn't kill people that's what bandits do people think bandits should be punished and I know they're taking the bandit skin out again this new one but I'm assuming they're gonna think of something else to do but or at least I think they're taking the bandit skin out but bandits do get punished they have the bandit skin Whenever you have the bandit skin, unless that other player is retarded, you're going to get shot on sight. If a player sees a bandit and does not shoot on sight, and does not know that person, then they are really stupid. So if you see a bandit, oh, there's a little town here. If you see a bandit and then get shot by that bandit because you didn't shoot him, and then you complain that bandits are killing players and they should be punished then you really need to think like come on there's somebody who has a specific skin because they kill players for like entertainment or supply they, they kill players and you're gonna try to trust them it just god damn I aggro um I, it just it makes no sense I'm gonna try to lose him here. Um, I saw this on YouTube. You can, uh, now remember before zombies would chase you to hell and back again. They just never would give up no matter where you went. Um, now if you zigzag through trees and around bushes, you can lose them. Don't get all confused. Make sure you're crouching though, because if you're allowed, they'll just pick up on you again. See? Look at him. Gone. 